So cute, right on the tip of my nose. I found this in a hat stuff, and so I'm giving it a go. That has way stronger flavor than I thought. So this is the pumpkin spice cold brew. Feels like a very American thing. We don't have too many of these options here in the UK. So when I saw this, I was like, I can't wait to try it. This is really yummy. It's not too sweet to be fair. Like normally my issue with pre-made coffee drinks like this is that they're too sweet. This morning I am making apple cinnamon flavored pancakes. I'm just um, stewing some apples if that's even the right term. So I'm getting them all nice and soft. All the autumnal feels. I have had the most wonderful, chill, autumnal morning. Those pancakes were so good. I have not made pancakes in ages. And it's literally, I think it might be my favorite breakfast. They were so yummy. I really recommend that recipe. Just with like the softness of the apples and the fact that the pancakes are made from just like oats, banana, egg. They're quite good for you. So we're just having a really slow morning. I have been sick like for the past few days, just not well. I've tried my best to film like this productive week in the life. It just hasn't come together and I'm the worst when I, I don't feel like my video is up to scratch. I'd rather scratch it, not put out anything, than something I'm not proud of, something I know you guys aren't gonna like as much. However, you guys are so sweet and a lot of you support me no matter what I put out, so. I think it's the change of the seasons and honestly, a lot of people definitely have a bug right now which is why I thought let's just film like a really cozy couple autumnal days spent at home we are fully in autumn now it is the middle of October I always feel like autumn is too short and so let's make the most of it that is why I start my autumnal content at like the start of September and I know some of you think I'm crazy I've just gotten ready because I think we're gonna go for a little walk I'm thinking we're probably gonna go to Regent's Park in London um, with the doggy, so it'll be so nice. I'm gonna put on a cute outfit and just make myself feel better. I'm not gonna do any work apart from this, obviously, like vlogging. I'm also gonna do a little like Q&A catch up in this vlog I asked you guys on Instagram. Give me your questions, what you wanna know, what's going on in life, because obviously I announced I think in my last video that like I'm going through a transitional period right now. I've handed in my notice for like my full-time job. Yeah, we're gonna have a little chat probably this evening about that. I feel better. I definitely feel better today. But sorry if I sound gross. Okay, so this is the outfit. I've gone very creamy neutral. We've got just my dockies on. Motel Rock jeans, you guys know I wear these all the time. This knit from H&M. This is my favorite winter jacket. There we go, the light sorted itself up. This is from And Other Stories, but I got last year. I think they have come out with very similar jackets this year though. And then my little Louis Vuitton bucket bag. A few of you have asked 
where I got this from over on Instagram. And I actually got it secondhand. It's a vintage piece. Um, I'll leave the name of the seller here. She has like a really, really great secondhand designer bag or just designer good shop. Um, yeah, she's really good. So I'll leave it there. We're gonna go walkies now. Do you wanna go walkies? No, but I do. Let's go, family. I think. Gone for a little pumpkin cream cold brew. I love these. Hello. Hello. Good evening. We are back home. Did a bit of a food shop tonight. We're kind of having an at home date night. We've bought two juicy steaks and I'm gonna cook them up. I haven't cooked steak in, I think like a year. So just gonna make us a really yummy, scrummy, hearty dinner and have some might call a kind of chill, boring night in, but that is more my style nowadays. So if you guys are regular viewers, then you know I've been making a lot more voiceover content, which kind of requires more prep and scripting for my videos. Doing this every week, sometimes it's hard to feel creative. So I have a little tip for my other content creators to avoid this, or actually if you are just any content writer, I think you are gonna wanna hear about the service I have found. This next part of the video is very kindly sponsored by Hey Friday. Hey Friday is the ultimate AI content writing tool. The number one thing I love about Hey Friday is how fast it is. It can produce up to 500 words a second. It has over 40 templates and over 30 writing tones so that you're never gonna run out of inspiration. Whether you're creating copy for your new website, a newsletter, this tool is for you. Creating an article can be easier. I obviously use this for my YouTube work, so I love that it has a video description template. All I do is pick that, select what tone I'm after, and then you just need a starting point. As you can see, I'm going for something super simple to show you how much it produces. And there you go, it's given me my main points that I can run with for the video, inspiration, and you can always request that it makes more. They also have a new template called AI Artist, and let me show you how smart this is. It can create different styles of art paintings according to the language you input. So I typed in seagulls, yes, I spell it wrong, and I picked what style I wanted, so oil painting. You can choose the dimensions, and there you go. There is an event called Experience Hey Friday AI that encourages new and old users alike to interact with Friday AI on their public Facebook group, a space where you can provide feedback and get rewarded with memberships and cash prizes. This event is only going to last a month so don't wait too long or you will miss out. Click the link in my description to join if you're interested. They very kindly offered you guys a coupon code so you can actually get their pro package for one month at a discounted price of $9.99. So that's 50% off their normal price. Say goodbye to writer's block and check it out for yourselves. Remember to use my code and it's all linked below for you. Thank you. 
off, your makeup time. Can you see me? Today has been exactly what I needed. We're now gonna watch a film. We watched, was it Danish? I think a Danish film last night called, Will? Another round. Called The Hunt. And it was so good. Honestly, quite depressing, but definitely worth watch. <laughs> handsome gentleman mm. hello my loves it's a new day i got my eyelashes done this morning they're just looking all fresh i always think my eyelashes look a little bit too intense when i first get them done i rather get them kind of too full and then they last longer but yes i get hybrids in case any of you are interested i have had eyelashes pretty much non-stop since i want to say march which isn't very good i definitely want to have a break even though i know my lash technician she's great it still doesn't matter who's doing them like this can't be good for your eyelashes long term it's annoying when you film yourself every week like i just prefer editing when i'm looking at myself and i'm like i look cuter i look cuter with eyelashes and when you get them off for the first time you feel like so bold really really exciting plans for the end of the year and i'm gonna be wanting to look my best i'm going to two really exciting places and I think I'm gonna actually do Vlogmas this year since I'm gonna be full time. If you guys are OGs, then you know last, no, not last year, the year before that, I attempted Vlogmas, but it was more like, I think I did like three videos a week. I don't remember it doing that well, so that kind of always put me off since it's like so much work. I don't think you're here for like daily vlog, daily content. But I love watching vlogmas so much um and it's like it's such a thing i associate with december and the run-up to christmas especially obviously as a as a youtuber but also like a heavy consumer of youtube so let me know i want to like sense out the general consensus with you guys like are you fussed about vlogmas two places i'm going to should make for some really exciting content should i just say so i'm going to new york at the end of november which is crazy, I have never been to New York. Will and I are going actually for my birthday, which will be really special. I'm someone who's, I'm really weird about my birthday. I love celebrating other people's birthdays. I'm really excited to spend it in New York. Probably has been like top of my list for years. I am that kid that grew up watching Friends and then I'm actually doing Paris round two with my dear sweet Emmy, who is my manager for those of you who don't know, but also, one of my closest friends and Paris in winter, Paris in December is gonna be crazy. I feel so blessed that I have those trips and that I've been able to plan those trips for the end of the year. Why am I rambling? This is not what I switched on the camera to talk about, but hello, I'm obviously in the chat mood. I also, as you saw, went shopping. Um, I did not get much. Something I really need to do is sort out my wardrobe. I have for sure so many pieces that I don't wear anymore. They don't fit, they're not my style. So I wanna do like a wardrobe purge. But I wanna get some more capsule pieces. And I know what I like. I got this really nice oversized knit from H&M. I literally only got a couple of pieces, so this will be really short. It's just this really nice dark gray. I feel like I never wear this color. I got some socks. I just wanted some plain, how do you actually call that style? Not crew socks, but yeah, longer socks. That look nice for trainers and just every day. Then I went to Fresh Cut. I know stripes have been so in this season in particular, but stripes are also, in my opinion, timeless and I wanted like a three quarter zip. I really like this. And again, it's oversized because that is just what I'm into right now. This was 29.99. I also got some good old Freederm. 
because as I'm sure you can still see, I have a big cute spot on the tip of my nose. And then I just got some more coffee pods. Really like this pumpkin spice cake one. I normally don't like the Espresso's sweet or like seasonal pods. Really nice. And that is all I have to show you. We're gonna go for a nice walk with the doggy. And also it is Sunday today. So in true British tradition, <laughs> we're gonna get a roast. Um, there's like a really sweet pub in Hampstead Heath that we love. So yeah, I think we're gonna go there, get some yummy food. Just have a really wholesome Sunday. Have a little sausage roll. Nom nom. So this is Hampstead Heath, one of my favourite parks in London. Greetings! Good evening! We had the nicest dinner, didn't we honey? It's so yummy! Nothing better than a roast on Sunday. Not that I had a roast. It was so, so good. We are feeling so sleepy this evening. Completely worn down from the week. I am determined to keep up some healthy habits next week. So I'm going to make my little juice shots. I think I made them in last week's video or a couple videos ago. I'm trying to be more consistent with it because it's a lot cheaper than buying the, the little ones you get from the shop. So ginger, celery. Okay, so I got these adorable little glasses from Amazon. Sorry, they've got water in them. I just washed them. But yeah, I just think they're so cute. So let's fill them with juice. I don't know how many to use because I swear I have a lot of juice here. So grab yourself a cup of tea. We're doing a little Q&A. If you don't already follow me on Instagram, shameless plug. But this is how you can get involved with like these little things. You guys ask quite a lot. So I'm just going to pick at random. Easy one to start with. How old are you? I am 23. How easy was it moving to London? Any unexpected expenses? I feel like very lazy answers to say just go watch my moving vlogs because I feel like that's where I just explain everything that's happening in the moment a lot better than how I'm gonna summarize it now. London is, and it goes without saying, everybody knows this, in terms of the UK um, relative to other cities, it is a very expensive place to live. But I knew that moving down here, it isn't for everyone. Unexpected things. I feel like there is just sort of a premium cost on everything. Like you literally walk outside your door and you've spent 40 pounds somehow. You need to pay for tubes and stuff to get around the city and that adds up. Definitely travel, I'd say, is like, for me, unexpectedly more expensive than I kind of anticipated. There's other things like, for example, if you drive into, um, I don't know if it's zone one, the congestion zone, you automatically 
get charged. It depends on your car. I think if you have an electric, you're fine, but we don't. So I think it's like 15 pounds a day if you want to go into like central London, things like that. It's just, it's expensive, but for us, it's worth it. How do you balance YouTube slash your work slash family time? Honestly, not very well. And that is why I've had to make a huge decision to leave my full-time job because if we're getting personal, like it honestly was getting to be too much. And I hated the feeling of like, I wasn't doing anything properly or to its full potential. Um, and also a big thing was like, not seeing family enough. I've mentioned it before um, when I do these little sit down sessions with you guys, like I have struggled to make friends in London and it is my fault because I haven't put in the time and the effort. Yeah, I hope this life change of mine will inevitably improve those areas of my life. <laughs> do you have any plans for your wedding yet? Oh, so bad, I've not got my ring on just because I was, I was cooking, okay? I was making my juice. Yeah, for those of you who don't know, I got engaged this summer. Biggest thing of the year by far, an actual fairy tale moment, and I'm still like in complete awe that it happened, but um, it still feels very fresh. However, we have not like rushed to start planning the wedding. Um, I don't know how many of you are actually like interested in all of that I 100% can make like a dedicated wedding series but I don't know actually if you guys would watch that. Planning has barely started we have put together like a rough guest list we hope it'll probably be like summer 2024 so kind of a long engagement two years and we've also thought about where it would be potentially Ireland because that's where Will's family are. I don't know why I've never imagined having a Scottish wedding for those of you who don't know, I'm, I'm from Scotland, born and raised, but I'm also half Colombian and to ask everyone to come over to Colombia is <laughs> kind of a big ask. So we're thinking maybe Ireland. Did you always want to be a YouTuber? No, definitely not. I'm 23, so I, I think I am a Gen Z, but I, I feel like I'm a Gillennial, like I'm in between the generations. But when I went to high school, that's when YouTube started coming about and nobody like, when I was in school wanted to be a YouTuber, I don't think, like, it wasn't really looked at as a career. I don't know, it wasn't really something you, like, aspired to be. If I could tell 15 year old me, like, that's what you're gonna be doing full time, I think I'd be shocked. <laughs> um, but I have always been a consumer of it and I've always loved it and I feel very blessed. I have monetized this hobby. Will you be creating extra content now that you're set to leave your full time role? So higher quality content for sure, but I think I'm still gonna stick to like one video a week, but I'll be making a lot more content over on Instagram, maybe even TikTok. I don't know why I can't get into it as a creator. How's the house search going? For those of you who don't know, we are trying to buy in London next year, which is a whole thing kind of been put on hold at the moment. I feel like there's just so much going on with me leaving my job. There's stuff going on with Will as well. But still, we have, actually Will's literally like um, on Zoopla right now whilst I'm filming this, looking for flats. So still got an eye out. We still don't even know for sure where we want to be in London. There's so many nice pockets of London um, and we have to really think about budget and everything. Yeah, we have a strong idea of the kind of price point we're looking at. Hoping it'll be before summer next year. I really hope so. Where do you edit your videos? I use Final Cut Pro. Back when I was first starting out on YouTube though, I used iMovie if you are an Apple user. I recommend that when you're ready to make the investment because I think Final Cut Pro is like 300 pounds. It's not cheap. Don't do that. Don't start with that. Someone else just asked about equipment. You can find all my equipment, camera, like my GoPro, like all of that on my Amazon storefront. Um, and it's always linked in my description. Biggest challenge you face when coming up with meaningful content. I like to think some, hopefully most of my videos have kind of value behind them, a message behind them. When you guys comment or message me saying how my videos have motivated you or like turned your morning around, something like that. I cannot tell you how crazy that is to me. Like I'm just here by myself talking to a camera to think there's actually people like you guys watching the, these videos and hopefully being impacted by them, whether you're simply just entertained by this or, or yeah, I've actually made you feel better, more motivated, more positive. It's easy to think, why does anyone want to watch this? 
this. It's literally just me living my life. I guess this is advice for like um, other creators. Don't get too in your head about just like banging out content. Be proud of the content you're making. When are you thinking about having children? So I know I'm engaged, I'm an engaged lady, and a wedding is very much in my nearby future. However, children or not, I would love to be a mother. I pray to God that I can be a mother and that would all be very exciting, that whole journey, but it's not happening right now. I don't know, maybe like 30, I don't know. A while, a while away. Did you study to be a social media manager? So that is my full-time job. I did not, I studied music. I gained a lot of skills from that. I definitely don't regret it. But to be a social media manager, you do not need to have a degree. Some companies may favor you if you have like a marketing degree. But what I did have was this channel. That was kind of like my portfolio. Last question is just simply, how do you feel now that you're pursuing content creation full-time? Terrified. I don't even know if this is something I want for my like long-term future, but it's something I feel very privileged that I'm in the position I'm in now and I wanna give it a go. I wanna try this and see where it goes, but it is very scary, like the whole being freelance, working for yourself, <laughs> taking care of your own taxes and stuff. Um, and also, yeah, in today's economic status, essentially, obviously going through a cost of living crisis. Yeah, it's just uncertain times. But I'm not gonna let uncertainty hold me back for now because I, I can do this and I have to keep reminding myself that and I have the most wonderful support all around me, not only friends and family, but also you guys. Am I joking up? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna finish there, but thank you so, so much for watching, spending past cozy autumnal days with me. I think I've decided autumn is my favorite season. I love summer, I love hot weather, but today we were walking around and like the leaves were falling and I could feel like the crunch of the leaves under my feet and all the colors. I hope you're feeling cozy. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys very shortly. Yeah, thank you for your love and support. I love you. Have a good evening or morning or afternoon, whatever time it is for you.